point out the curse of the programme is broken. Um, the person on the front of the programme would always get injured or not play, but Deepo Akinyemi, his face is on it today, and he starts up front, almost assists like the Woking one. Hope he blends with the new strike part. The corner comes towards the far side. Looked comfortable for Barnett to defend, but Howe How does really well to win it back inside the box. Lati Fairweather, Callum Howe once again. Siziba, who's kept his place. Batty where the space is. Great football from York. Right-footed, swings towards Akinyemi, taken off him. Kuyar might have a shot. Tried to take too many touches. Barnett clear. And you think that, you know, if John Lewis was available in any format, he would at least be on the bench because it's not too much of an attacking outlet. No Castro on the bench either for York. Cross from the right from Hall Johnson. That's going to find Carno, who is well positioned inside the box. Gets a shot. It was a low one. Blocked. Follow up from Hartigan is also blocked. Here's the lively Carno picking it up once again. Very lively player. And he's easily taken on Batty that time. He's aimed it at goal. Headed out by Howe. Yeah, good header by Howe. Will Smith signed from Harrogate Town just yesterday. Now then, here's a chance of a counter, and Akinyemi's made the one he's dead on side. Akinyemi one versus one here. Yes. Chips it over the goalie, what a finish. Deep hole, get in. What a fantastic finish by the Akinyemi. Put through, you've got just no doubts in your mind, have you, when he goes clean through one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. A lovely deep finish there. Across the centre where Akimo is now back to Hartigan. Accurate ball, right channel, Hall Johnson. Oh. Slips past Lottie Fairweather, too easy into the box. Lays it easy, easy, easy. Flag, thank you. For a moment, Kabamba put the ball in the net. Carnu instead in to change passes. Hartigan comes in. It's nicely back to Carnu, right on the byline. There's the cross. It's dangerous. Pritchard's going to try the little chip, and this time the goal will count. Yeah, I have to say. I wouldn't say it's been coming, but I think Barnett have looked pretty effective when they've been coming forward. A couple of times they've been cutting us open. And, um, yeah, we've not been able to keep many clean sheets this season. I think only about one against Southend. 1-2 with Batty. Sezebo. Mm. He's given that one away, Sezebo. And here's the counter. Man over on the left. Callum Stead advancing into the area. Teasing Callum Howe goes outside of him. Whitney had to read that mm. one and does. That's oh, an accurate ball again. to Deeper. Fantastic takedown. And again, he's found Sezebo. Well tackled. Back to Akinyemi. What will he do this time? Another good ball to Sezebo. Right hand corner of the 18 yard box. Onto his right. There's oh. the shot. Whizzes past the post. Cross coming on the right hand side for Barnett it's a dangerous one oh the header from Aluwo York on the back foot and defending a corner here from the left hand side in, into Ooh. the box from distance Banks just before Whitley so we did well to hold it in both hands he did it was well watched by Ryan wasn't it because you know that takes a look so to our new central defender Will Smith for Callum Howe, almost got to that, he was waiting and it meant that only really Laurie Walker. Kanu, Brunt, Kanu still running into the box here, he's going to have a shot with his right oh. peg and Howe is Whitley not saved it, I don't know, but it's gone in and Barnett are two on up and it's Idris Kanu. Yeah, it's a great run from Kanu, isn't it? And to say they've probably warranted getting in the lead haven't they they've Carno have been so significant on that left hand side in this game before getting the second for Barnett and he's now added to Harry Pritchard's goal scoring in the 63rd minute getting his third of a season Carno ball onto the far side there's two headers oh. up there one of them is Hall Johnson and he's buried it past Whitley that's Barnett's third and that's Barnett flying their season is flying and they are 3-1 up yeah and it's a it's a good in goal to give away from our perspective and it just lumped into the box looping header flew over Ryan Whitley these remaining 20 minutes or so yeah, I think a lot was expected of Callum 
Harriet earlier on in the season. He's just not had the fitness, is he? Oh, oh, oh Johnson, he's nipped inside Smith and he's coming down and bearing down on Whitley. He's stroked oh. it, he's hit the post. Oh, Johnson. Well, that deserved better, really. It was a fantastic break, break through the York defence. Kibamba's back a little bit deeper, but he'll pass it and then try to gain a position in the area. Cross comes in from Barnett. There's the oh. header. It's a simple one from Brunt. It's 4-1. The bees are buzzing and York City have been well and truly stung. They have and uh, to make matters worse is Akin, Akinyemi hasn't, well, he's just about got to his feet now. He's taking a bit of a knock and I'm hoping that curse of a programme cover isn't coming back. We are in a, a relegation scrap almost certainly this season. Here's Akinyemi. Akinyemi's got space here. Defenders backed off him and Akinyemi does his job. He is the real deal, and that's one thing that we've got out of tonight. He's got his second. It's from another classy one-on-one -on -one situation. He's the business, isn't he, Dan?